Hi and welcome to tutorial 79 in the series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're looking at this at YouTube, then please also visit our website, which is markplex.com. That's M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X.com. So what I want to, wanted to do today is demonstrate how you can quote plot lines in a strategy. Now, normally with a strategy, you cannot use the plot statements. You can't use plot one, plot two, plot three, etc. But I do think it's useful, particularly if you're using, say, moving averages or something else uh, similar to that, that plots the same scale as the price action to actually see what's going on and to do a plot. So what I've got here is a strategy applied to a chart with what appears to be a plot, but it's really not. It's uh, lines created using the drawing tool. So what I want to do is just show you very simply how to do this and then caution you on a couple of things to be aware of. Now, first of all, I've created a program and I've applied it to the chart. What I've done now is just uh, deleted my program because I want to type it in again so that I can show you how you would go about doing this. So first of all, we're going to have an input and this is going to be the length of the moving average. And uh, I'll show you how we're going to use this later on more. In fact, we're going to use it in the moving average. We're also going to use it as I demonstrate some aspects of optimization. So it's going to put in average, I'm going to take the average of the close and put the length as length. And then just to save time in typing, I'm going to say value two. I'm going to copy this. That's uh, control C, control V to paste. And I'm going to say value two is equal to length. But well, actually, I'm just going to make that nine just to uh, save some programming time here. OK, so to draw the lines, very simple. We're going to use the TL new uh, command. So we're going to say value three is equal to TL underscore new. And again, if you're not familiar with uh, TL new, you can right click that and you can if you do that, you'll get some options. Look at uh, dev definition of TL new and you'll see all about it. I use it a lot. So I'm going to say date one bar ago, time one bar ago and value one, one bar ago. So that is where we're drawing a line from and we're going to draw it to date, time, value one. So what you can see we're doing is actually drawing a lot of little line segments. And those line segments, when we see them on the chart, they look like like the plot. So I want to change the color of this as well. So I'm going to go TL set color and the, let's just correct that spelling mistake. It's set color and we're setting the color of value three and we'll make it yellow. OK, and we also want to draw a line for the other moving average. So let's say this is a value 4 as the reference. I'm going to leave it as the default color. Except now, instead of value 1, we're going to put in here the faster moving average. So that's value 2, value 2. And I'm going to press F3. And then if we go back to our chart, we should see the uh, lines being drawn pretty much like they were when we first opened up the tutorial. Now, one of the issues with this technique is it does use a lot of the computer's processing power. So let me just demonstrate why that is so. If we were to add a print statement here, so I'm just going to go print date time going to include the length because we're going to be doing some uh, or using the optimization functionality in a moment. What I'm also going to include is value three, which is the reference returned by the drawing tool. Now, every time the drawing tool draws a line or draws any drawing object, it returns a value, which is the reference for that drawing object. So I'm going to say uh, value and going to verify this. Going to go back to the chart. And I'm going to open up the 
easy language print log and what we should see now is a listing of all the drawing objects you see actually on this chart just for one of those or actually and um, the uh, the numbers would be sequential but you can see that uh, for value three we've got a number there of 62,523 so in other words we're drawing a lot of little lines and uh, that's not necessarily something you want to do um, or rather you don't necessarily want to take away that uh, processing power from your computer so what you might wish to do is create a an input just so you can turn this drawing off when you don't need it anymore for example when you've debugged the program so I'm just going to say if plot then begin and let's just indent these and put in an end to close that begin off and uh, we need to create an input so I'm going to say underscore plot and I'm going to say false you notice I use an underscore there I couldn't I couldn't use the word plot itself that would uh, that would not be permissible so I'm going to press F3 again then we're going to go to the chart and you'll see now that we don't have any lines drawn so if I were to go back to the strategy and go format strategies double click here for the inputs and I'm going to change this to true say OK click close and then we'll get the lines again okay now I want to demonstrate what happens when we do an optimization so I'm going to go, going to go format strategies I'm going to double click on this line again and this time I'm going to optimize the length of course this is not a uh, program that would be particularly useful it's not actually buying or selling anything but what we'll, to demonstrate this uh, this aspect optimize from a length of 1 to 18 I'm going to say OK and I'm going to click the optimize button and what I want you to notice in the output log is uh, is look at the numbers down here and what you'll see while it's optimizing you'll see that it is drawing all these lines on the chart even though it really doesn't need to uh, we're getting all these we can't see the chart it's actually just providing us with the reference numbers for the lines and what it's going to do is go through for each one each value of the length and it's going to draw those 62,000 odd lines even though we can't see them at least it's uh, returning the the reference and uh, when it gets to 62,000 plus it's going to start again right at the beginning for length 2 etc So that, that is a waste of uh, computer power because it doesn't really help us when we're doing an optimization. So what you might wish to do is modify our program. So this only would draw them if both plot were true and if there is no uh, optimization going on. And we can determine that by using get app info and brackets AI optimizing close brackets so get app info AI optimizing and we want to say is not equal to one in other words if it is equal to one then we are optimizing uh, if it's not equal to one then we want to draw the lines so I'm going to verify that I'm going to go format strategies double click this line again and we're going to do another optimization say OK OK again click optimize and this time I want you to look at the output log as the program starts and you'll see this time that value 3 is 0 all the time because we're not drawing those drawing objects and hopefully this will speed up the processing of the optimization. Anyway, I hope you might find uh, these techniques useful in your programming.